So now we've got it up and running. The technicians have configured everything exactly how I would have done it actually. All of the fans are configured to low speed at the front and low speed at the back. So it gives us a very quiet computer experience for this particular machine. I've gone and peeled off the sticker that was over the window and I've also flicked the power switch at the back and turned it on for the first time. So you can see that it gives us a selection for which network we're on. So if you're going to be installing this computer at home, you're going to click that you want the home network. All right, so it'll connect to the network, apply your settings. We may have to actually cut the shot here and then resume, depending how long this takes. Or not. Probably. Then for the next stage in our network setup, we're just going to configure our home group, select that we want to share everything with the computers on our network, and then it'll go ahead and do its little thing for a little bit. And then it gives us a password for our home group, and we press finish. Now, we must restart the computer to apply these changes. OK, we'll restart now, and then we'll be back in a moment. OK, so after rebooting, our network connection is all set up. You can see that we're booting into Windows 7 Home Premium, and we're going to go right to the Windows desktop, which the first thing you'll notice about it is that it is very clean, free of additional clutter and icons. Now, because this is a gaming-oriented machine, our technicians have taken the time, and you can see that's also on our test report, to throw 3D Mark on the system and do a quick check to make sure that A, the graphics card and CPU are functioning correctly for gaming, say for example, because this is clearly a gaming machine, and they have also gone and enabled SLI by default, so you can make sure that you're getting all of your potential performance right out of the box. Now, the next thing that you'll notice is entirely clean and free of any additional toolbars encouraging you to shop wherever or whatever it is they want you to do. It goes straight to msn.com, which is the Windows 7 default. So we've installed zero bloatware on your new computer, and we are very, very proud of it. Now, if you go to the NCIX site, let's say, for example, you had any issues with the PC out of the box, you're going to want to get in touch with us. Just click on the Contact Us link here. Your system is covered by a one-year parts and labor warranty, so please do not hesitate to get in touch with us if you have any questions. And thank you for watching Tech Tips on how to set up your new NCIX PC.